Hey guys, I don't really know what I want to talk about right now, but I do want to make a couple of videos uh, just, you know, for the state of the channel and why not? Um, one of the things I was talking about, I guess, with someone today about relationships with compromise. And a lot of times people say you have to compromise to be in a relationship. Now, depending on the dynamic of the relationship, sometimes I agree and sometimes I don't because when you compromise, you lose yourself. You don't want to lose yourself in a relationship. You want to respect the fact that your partner is different and that you don't agree. That's how I feel. Like you and I, we don't agree. So there's an impasse and we both agree that we're different. You're going to do things your way. I'm going to do things my way, but we're going to respect each other throughout this. Sometimes, depending on what the topic is um, and how it affects the relationship and the family, because with family, it's a little bit different when you have children, there may be some compromise. But it's for the betterment of the family unit. Um, but sometimes if you find yourself compromising too much, you're in the wrong relationship. Because if you're constantly changing who you are to please another human being, at the end of the day, it's not going to work out because you're not going to be the person they fell in love with. You changed everything you were to make them happy. And at the end of the day, more times than not, they end up leaving you for someone else that was who you were in the beginning anyway because you changed who you were so much and you did it out of love to accommodate them. So I always tell people, just be you. Either they stick around or they don't. Either way, you dodged a bullet. You know what I mean? Like, just be yourself. Um, you know, then there's some people that are just abrasive, harsh, and just nasty. They need to change and compromise a little bit because their demeanor is just really rough overall but in reality they are who they are we have to fig we have to figure out why they are that way it's usually some type of trauma that you need to heal in order for them to soften up and be how they're, they're they're rough and nasty for a reason so healing that person is a better option and then through that healing they'll be more loving and kind and nurturing and all those things come with time but if somebody's like that it's usually because they were taught it or they were hurt and they're defending themselves so that's a whole nother video um I always do that I have to stop that <laughs> but uh compromise um that's my personal opinion you don't have to listen to me there's a lot of people that will teach you you have to compromise compromise is the key to a relationship yeah sometimes sometimes but not the whole time um it is important to stay true to yourself your morals your visions your goals your upbringing if that's the case but remember we do constantly change our belief system based on new information and new experiences so the thing about relationship coaching and like helping people is that you have to hear the whole story and then you have to hear both sides of the story before you can actually give advice because the advice you give is tailored to that situation and that relationship you can't there's no one answer for everyone there is none like you it just depends how is it in the beginning okay how is it in the middle how is it now where do you want it to be you know and then you cater a solution for that situation but I just wanted to say that because I do find that I find a lot of people who change who they are at the end of the day they end up being unhappy because they're not themselves anymore they've totally just changed everything about themselves to make another person happy and then they're unhappy and then sometimes they break up and they end the relationship but it's their fault because they changed you know but then they're like I can't be myself in this relationship meanwhile the other partner is like I never asked you to change you know th that's another dynamic um so don't lose yourself because it's never a good thing unless you were a horrible person and this other person makes you better and you're changing and becoming a better person if that's how you feel and that's how other people around you feel like it's a good influence and you're changing for the better that's a whole nother situation but you see how this can like spin into a thousand different scenarios um but that's just my personal advice like if you find that you're changing yourself so much not that you're becoming a better person but so much to please and accommodate your partner you have to just be careful because you're riding a fine line of losing yourself in this relationship and sometimes your partner ends up falling out of love with you because you're not the person they fell in love with in the first place does that make sense all right 
That's it. Love you guys. Bye.